right now. Right, for hit shields you know, versus your ship and that kind of stuff. My issue with disabling external sounds would be that it's not quite what he wants because still all the other players have the advantage of hearing the external sounds, so it's, it's not the realistic environment he's looking for. But that's, well, no, no, that's but for him to weigh. Don't forget that yeah. there is no sound in space, so for him to, to do, do without, yeah, yeah, handicap himself in the interest of having a certain type of sound mix, that's totally his choice. It well, could be argued that one is less realistic than the other and so forth and so on. Yeah, my, my thought would be to put it in the fiction that your ship senses these things and has pre-recorded sounds or something. Like uh, what time did that one hit the... Uh, um, will you have any bots right versions uh, and or collected editions? Uh, yes, yes, it wasn't clear on the initial pledges, but everybody $125 or over gets a box. And everybody two hundred fifty dollars and over gets a fancy uh, shiny box, and there are pictures of those at the RSI site today. Will players get an advantage over new players? Wouldn't it be unfair to the new players? Uh, no. The idea is not to give players an advantage over new players. Um, We've kept the amount of credits you get, the ledger, small enough not to impact the game, and you're not buying a complete ship that's going to beat up all the other ships because it's nicer, you're buying the base level that has to be upgraded. In some ways you may be at a disadvantage because you're upgrading a much more expensive ship to start out with than the, the other new player who has the level one ship and kind of buy the level one engine and shields. Um, and uh, in addition, it's a skill-based game, so... Like somebody in an Aurora who's really good at flying can uh, can take down some guy who spent five hundred dollars for a constellation, uh, two hundred fifty dollars for a constellation. Uh, so it, it's not going to balance out so so literally as that. But uh, you no, know, we we're not trying to give uh, pledges and advantage to new players. As much as we love you guys uh, for allowing this game to happen. Uh, are you able to color customize your craft, add decals, etc., not just preset skins? Uh, yeah, Chris addressed this earlier. Uh, yes, but we're not sure the extent or exactly how much customization you have, which is uh, just an issue because you know, if you have 100 ships at once, yeah, then you don't want to multiply the number of textures by 100. Uh, so we're, we'll figure that out and let you know. Um, planet landings will be in-game cinematics, but what about autopilot? I'm not sure about that one. My, my thought is it would be an in-game cinematic. Which, which one is this? Uh, autopilot. Uh, autopilot is kind of like a, it's going to be sort of an in-game, it'll be an in-game cinematic and then you sort of being in a mode where you're in first person, you in sort of the, the galaxy streaming past you and then you come out of it once we've streamed in the new area you're going to be in. What are the different roles for the LA and Texas offices? Uh, that's one for this, I think. <laughs> well, LA is going to be focused uh, on the conceptual side, like the visual side, because that's where a lot of the conceptual artists are. Uh, you know, I'm going to be between LA and Austin, and I'm sort of uh, uh, going to be doing uh, you know a fair amount of uh, doing a decent amount of programming. We'll have some programming in LA and then programming and technical programming here. So, but I'm sort of going to be focusing on getting as much cool detail and texture in and balancing the dogfighting. <coughs> Will the subscriptions sort of stack on our pledges? Um, uh, well, definitely the subscription numbers are adding to the uh, oh, okay. to the total, although it's not a lot, right, because they're not big, big ticket items. Or I added about 10 or 20 grand or something. Can I walk around the carrier between missions and Squadron 42? If so, will mission start while walking around? Sirens blaze, all Squadron 42 get to your ships. Uh, yeah, I would imagine that's uh, kind of the point of having the carrier to walk around in. Yep. Uh, yeah, you hang out. You're going to hang out on the carrier like you would hang out on the Tiger's Claw on Wing Planet 1, except for this one's you know, rendered and modeled in 3D with a lot more detail. In-game piracy in mind, how many possibilities do you have as a pirate to rob and pillage other players? Can we raid their ships stored in their garages, for instance, or rob them while they're walking around space stations? Those seem like more extreme things than we want in the initial game. Um, 
but it's something to think about. What options will there be for disabling <coughs> enemy ships non-lethally? Uh, we talked about this in a doc the other day. The idea is that disabling an enemy ship should be really hard um, because it's the preface to boarding and we want boarding to be a rare treat rather than something everybody does all the time. So uh, the idea is you have to take down the shields and you have to shoot out the, uh, the thrusters and if you don't do that exactly right your ship is going to be damaged when you try to board. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's a skill game to disable an enemy ship rather than missile that does it automatically. Um, and maybe more advanced weapons will help you when you pay more money than in-game money later. And same with targeting software, that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, not, not as easy as it was in the Wing Commander 4. Where you got a, a missile uh, that did it. Any plans for table games or like wild docked as a money sink option, gamble, equipment? Um, not necessarily. It's, it's one of those things that would be cool to add if we had uh, money enough and time, but it's not a priority. Uh, although, I mean, there's something to be said for you know, something along the lines of the, the 3D chess game from Star Wars on the Millennium Falcon. That, would add to the immersion, but it, it's not something we have necessarily planned right now. It's, uh, just, it is in our heads, though. Uh, and if you have any great ideas, let us know on the forums. Um, my main pledge is on RSI. I have the Electro Skin on Kickstarter. Can I add my $15 for shipping on Kickstarter? Yes. Um, and since we only have four or so hours left, uh, go do it immediately. Uh, as, long as, as long as something in your order is shipping, you can add it uh, on Kickstarter. The $30 thing is just to prevent people from spending $10 in Kickstarter and then ordering all sorts of stuff. Um, is it possible to expel an NPC faction from a system or will they just spawn over and over? Um, we want players to be able to impact the face of the world. We don't want to force.